My name's Hawaiian Shirt Joe. This is ranking Cartoon Network programming uh, tier list. Adventure Time is D, bad. No, <laughs> Adventure Time is S tier. Amazing World of Gumball. I'm gonna have to put that in S tier. Chop Socky Chooks. Has anyone ever heard of this? Code name, Kids Next Door. That is going S tier. Johnny Bravo, D, bad. Dexter's Laboratory, bro. That's gotta go S tier. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, that's gotta be S tier. Powerpuff Girls, okay. Like, I liked Powerpuff Girls, but for me, I think Powerpuff Girls would be an A tier, speaking for a lot of women in my generation. But I do think Powerpuff Girls was kind of an iconic show. Even if it wasn't my personal favorite, I would be doing it injustice to not put it at S tier. Shit, there's two. I don't remember the difference between the two. Maybe I'll put the like older one at S tier and I'll put the other one at top of A. Problem solvers? What is this? most definitely like what the fuck is that regular show now i still watch regular show to this day regular show is one of the goaded shows of my generation it's one of the it's just like it is regular show is so goaded i'm almost willing to put it top of s tier above adventure time and that's crazy because i literally have an adventure time tattoo like that's how good i think adventure time is but like, I feel like regular show just never missed. I didn't really like the ending, like not the ending itself, but like when they went into space, they kind of lost me for that season. So I think because of that, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it below Adventure Time. Adventure Time got better as it went along over time with its last seasons being the best. Robot Boy, I've never fucking heard of that. What the fuck? What is that shit? robot tommy Ro robotomy they have a show called robotomy what the fuck that's weird that's going into what is this samurai jack okay see this is why i was putting stuff like the amazing world of gumball in a tier it's because like how are you not gonna put samurai jack in s tier and you don't want your s tier getting too bloated i'd say it goes above ed and eddie goes above powerpuff girls goes above ben 10 goes above dexter's laboratory goes above batman beyond and I'm going to leave it there. I don't think it's more iconic. I'll put it above Courage the Cowardly Dog, but I, I'm not going to put it above Codename Kids Next Door. Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. I love this show. This show was like my first like fucking Mr. Robot. Like it was so dark and creepy. It scared the fuck out of me, but like it had this amazing plot. I would still watch it today. Like the whole plot is like there was pieces to a hidden puzzle. It was like such an amazing show. I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it like top of A tier. Secret Mountain Fort Awesome. Okay, you already know from that name that this fucking thing is a piece of dog shit. Secret Saturdays. I don't know what the fuck that is. What is this? There's so many what is this. That's crazy that I didn't I didn't realize how many of these I hadn't watched. Sheep in the Big City. What the fuck? On an off topic, do you all remember Sean the Sheep? Like those little like like little short Sean the Sheep episodes. Skunk stuff? What the fuck is this? Sonic Boom? Okay, I will say I haven't watched Sonic Boom, but I've seen a lot of memes from it and it looks iconic. So I'm gonna put it into the never watch category, but I've heard it's like, and I've seen clips, there's a lot of memes from it. It looks really, really good. Space Ghost. Okay, I remember seeing this but I never watched it. It looked good, but it just looked a little bit like not my sense of humor at the time when I think it was coming out because it looks like a 90s or an early 2000s show. Squirrel Boy. Okay, I vaguely remember seeing this, but I never watched it because it looked like shit. I'm going to put Squirrel Boy into Never Watched. Star Wars. Is that the Clone Wars? But that's not even like the good Clone Wars, right? This is the good Clone Wars. I see it now. Okay, I will put this in S tier. I have watched some of the Clone Wars. I know how good it is. Yeah, I'm going to put it like above Batman Beyond, but below Courage the Cowardly Dog. Static Shock. I vaguely remember this as well, but like not enough that I ever watched it. So that's a uh, never watch, don't remember. Okay, Steven Universe. All right, I'm coming for you, Steven Universe fans. I've met so many people who are like, Steven Universe is like the best show ever. It like was like the hit show after all the best shows got off the air. And I just like, I despised it for that. So putting that into D bad, I'll put it above Johnny Bravo um, just because I know it's better quality, but I just didn't like it. What the fuck is this? Storm Hawks? 
Summer Camp Island? What the fuck? Sunday Penis? Sunday Paris? Sunday Pants? Sunday in my pants? Swag Cats? What the fuck is Swag Cats? Teen Titans Go. Okay, okay. I want to say like bottom of D tier because if you're like me, if you come from my generation, if you were an OG Teen Titans fan, then you say, say it with me, fuck Teen Titans Go. But hold on. It's actually not bad. <laughs> it's actually like kind of good. Um, and it's, it's, it's like meta. It's ironic. It's a lot like the amazing world of Gumball. And it's like jokes and humor. And it's actually, it has good references to the rest of the DC universe. It's witty. Like it is dumb and it is very childish and it's not as good as the original Teen Titans, but it's not as bad as we all shit on it for being. Give it a chance. Watch a few episodes. It's not terrible. Uh, I'm going to put it bottom of B tier. The OG Teen Titans. Now this is going over codename Kids Next Door. Uh, and it's going to be my third best behind Adventure Time and Regular Show. The OG Teen Titans are fucking iconic. You talk about iconic, like, I still watch Teen Titans. Like, I, the other, it was like a couple months ago, but I, like, rewatched Teen Titans. I watched the movie, again, like, s such good storytelling, amazing animation, like, such a goaded show. Such a goaded show. Thundercats, never watched Thundercats. That was a very 90s thing, so I'm going to put that into didn't watch slash don't remember tig and seek that into what is this tomb tomb squad what is this hold on i gotta shrink the page again so big that's what she said okay total drama island one of the best shows i i you know we're not doing that much suspense but total drama island what an amazing show it was like goaded iconic bro all right campers today the challenge is to find a reason to keep on going. <laughs> you know, like I'm putting it bottom of S tier um, just because I think it is goaded, but it is kind of like, you know, not as goaded as some of these other ones. Almost top of A tier, but I'll I'll give it the iconic status and put it in S tier. Redonkulous race. Okay, that's a what is this? I want to put that at what is this? I don't remember there being a kid's total drama island. What the fuck? Anyone else remember that? Anyone watch that? Totally Spies? This is another one that I think like a lot of girls that grew up in my generation would say the show is S tier. They would say it's goaded. I have watched it. And for me, I'm going to put it at top of A above the new Powerpuff Girls, but below the original Powerpuff Girls. Transformers? What the fuck? Is this a new Transformers TV show? I'm gonna put that in a what is this? What the hell? Uncle Grandpa, D, bad, trash, shit. The worst fucking thing ever made. Fuck Uncle Grandpa. All my boys hate Uncle Grandpa. All right, Unikitty. I feel like I've seen like pictures of this, but I never watched it. So I'm gonna put it under never watch slash don't remember. Victor Valentina, what the fuck is that? Villainous? Oh, villainous. What the fuck is villainous? I have never heard of that. Okay, We Bear Bears. All right. So let me just say with We Bear Bears that I've seen clips and the show looks iconic, but like I hardly ever watched it. So I'm going to put it in great because I know it is a great show. Like I've seen clips. It looks, you know, um, Ice Bear does not commit murder or whatever he says. Ice Bear does not commit tax fraud. Whatever he says. I don't know. What a cartoon. What the fuck is that? What a cartoon. Robo Robot Jones. What the fuck? Never heard of that. What's new Scooby-Doo? I think, you know what? Fuck it. We don't have a Scooby-Doo in S tier. Let's put a Scooby-Doo in S tier. Zai, Zaya Lin? Never heard of that. What the fuck? Young Justice. Okay. I think I'm going to put Young Justice at top of A tier. I'm sorry, totally spies, but Young Justice is a better TV show in terms of quality and writing and stuff. I lied. Uncle Grandpa is not the worst fucking TV show on here. Annoying Orange takes that spot. The Annoying Orange feels like something that like I would see in like psychosis that would make me like, like I could just imagine me being crazy and like seeing the Annoying Orange and he's just like, kill yourself, you know, but he would say in the Annoying Orange way. So he's like, <laughs> kill yourself you know like <laughs> all right hero 108 never heard of that what the fuck thundercats roar never heard of that okay batman the animated series this is an s tier 
This is an S tier. Batman the Animated Series, I would put above Courage. I would probably put it above Samurai Jack. I would, I think I would put it above Codename Kids Next Door. Like Batman the Animated Series is just a goaded show. That's, that's going in my top five, definitely. Superman, also a really good show, but I'll put it top of A below Young Justice, just because I think it was a little bit. He, it's good, it's great, but it's not like, iconic elliot is this a show just called elliot what the fuck is that we baby bears god cartoon network is just like bro what's our formula we get a successful tv show we milk it for as long as possible and then we make a sequel with those same characters and same show but they're babies we bear babies never watched it jellystone never watched it it looks like it's uh yogi bear but it's like a weird new iteration of them the fun guys Never heard of that. What the fuck is that? And then Steven Universe Future. They made a sequel to goddamn Steven Universe. What the fuck? They were just really out of ideas, huh? <laughs> Insulting every Steven Universe fan right now. All right, so let's let's do this final review and let's let's finish this bitch off together, shall we? Pretty spot on just because if I put them here, like I literally had no clue. Like they looked fucked and I just never heard of them. So not going to make any changes here. Never watch slash don't remember. I'm not going to make any changes here since these bottom two rows are all just things that like I've already admitted I haven't watched. Like, you know, it's not really going to help me to move them around. Annoying Orange, congratulations. You are officially the worst declared by me. After that, we have Uncle Grandpa, Mike Lewaug or whatever the fuck that says. Clarence. I'm even going to move Clarence below this shit. Garfield Show, Johnny Bravo. I know I'm going to get so much hate over that one. Fuck that shit. Uh, Steven Universe. Cow and Chicken. I feel like Cow and Chicken is an iconic show, but I just never really liked it. So put it in C. Pup Named Scooby-Doo. Baby Looney Tunes. I'll even move Pup Named Scooby-Doo up because I think Scooby-Doo beats out Looney Tunes. I'll put a Pup Named Scooby-Doo over Crypto. And I'll put Pup Named Scooby-Doo at the top of C tier. Crypto above Mucha Lucha. I'll move Baby Looney Tunes over it. And I'll move Cow and Chicken over this. And I'll move my gym partners a monkey down to almost the bottom, uh, but just above Mucha Lucha. B tier, our good tier, you know, not bad. Um, we have Teen Titans go at the bottom. And I know that's controversial. It's not bad. I know we love to hate on it, but I wouldn't be doing it justice if I didn't admit that it's at least good. Uh, Duck Dodgers, um, Infinity Train, Camp Laszlo, which to me was like, I, it was like an iconically bad show. That's why I put it in good. Johnny Test was another like show that like I personally love, but I can admit isn't like that good. Like if I watched it now, I probably wouldn't like it. Batman, the, you know, one of the animated TV shows, Looney Tunes show, uh, 16, same. I think 16 was iconic, but I feel like it wasn't that good quality of a show. Ben 10, Ultimate Alien wrapping up the B tier. And then our A tier, our great tier. We have We Bear Bears, Mad TV, Justice League, Justice League, Gumball, Chowder, Flapjack, Ben 10, and I'll put Gumball above these two. Uh, ben 10, Fosters, Scooby-Doo, Mystery Incorporated, um, The Misadventures of Billy and Mandy, which is a great show. Um, I'll actually put it above Powerpuff Girls and above Totally Spies. Superman, I'll put Superman below these actually. Um, yeah, we'll put we'll put Superman down here. Actually, I'll put it, put it. I'm sorry, Superman. You're getting dropped a lot. I'm actually going to put you below chat. <laughs> I'm sorry, Superman. Uh, actually, I don't think you're as good as Justice League. Uh, sorry, Superman. Um, you're getting dropped down a lot on that move. Um, and then Young Justice, which I think is almost like good enough for S tier, the same as like Billy and Mandy. And then for S tier, we have What's New Scooby Doo, Total Drama Island, Powerpuff Girls, Ed Ed Nettie, Ben 10, uh, Alien Force. Dexter's Laboratory, Batman Beyond, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Samurai Jack, Codename Kids Next Door, Batman The Animated Series, Teen Titans, Regular Show, and my personal favorite uh, Cartoon Network show, Adventure Time. I just want to say thank you, everyone who might have watched. I appreciate everyone who did. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe below.